Hello traders, FS Pepuati here. Today is Thursday, January 4th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame for the full call down analysis. So, looking at the monthly, I mean, I'm still very bullish on this. I think this is a one. I believe this is a two. I think we're going to go up and make a three, four, five, which most likely is going to go up and take out these highs. So, let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I think this first move up is a wave one ending right there. I think this is three waves down. I think it's three waves up and then five waves down, making this a flat pattern. I think it's an expanding flat because it did make a higher high for the wave B and a lower low for the wave C. And now I think that's the end of the wave two. And I believe that we will continue on this time frame to make higher highs, higher lows for that wave three. So let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, now you could definitely mark this as a 3, 4, 5 right here and say that the wave 1 of this uptrend is already over. But looking at correlated pairs, especially the dollar index and all other dollar pairs, I actually still believe that this is going to be some sort of a crescent, and I still believe that this is going to end up continuing up and that we are probably still either in a wave 4 or we are in a subdivision of the much bigger uptrend on the higher time frames. Either way, I think this is going to make a higher low, higher low, and I think it's just going to keep on trending up. So taking it down to the 4-hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, you can see pretty clearly a nice downtrend. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, perfect 5 ways down. We did have an impulsive up and we did have a break of structure, which is a really good sign that this wave A is possibly already over. Most likely what's to happen now is this is probably going to make some sort of a corrective wave B. And I think that most likely it is going to go down again for a wave C. Now, sometimes what we believe to be a wave B will just keep on trending up and continue the uptrend. So uh, anybody trading below the four hour time frame, you know, I would definitely be looking for logs right now. And we will learn and hopefully earn at the same time whether this is a wave B or whether it just keeps on trending up, continuing the uptrend. So let's take it down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame definitely looks like a one, two, three with a break of strutzer. So I would for sure be looking for a pullback entries. Seems to me like this first move up should be a wave A. Seems to me like it would make a wave B and it would probably push up again at least at a 50 or maybe even higher for a wave C. It should all be an A, B, C, or B, but like I was explaining on the four hour time frame, sometimes what we believe is a wave B just keeps on trending up. So at this point, especially with this break of strutzer, I personally would be looking for longs, especially on these sort of time frames. Whether it makes a wave B or whether it continues the uptrend, if you're looking for longs, either way, you should be on the right side of the market. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.